welcome back to my channel. Who is yelling outside of my window? Shh, I'm recording. To start off this video, let's hit subscribe together. Ready, one, two, three, subscribe. So today I decided to create 10 different hairstyles that you guys can wear to prom, homecoming, formal, semi-formal, any sort of event that you get to dress up for. These are, in my personal opinion, really super easy looks that you can create. Whether you have shorter hair, longer hair, mid-length, whatever kind of hair length you have besides like the super short pixie cuts, you guys should have no trouble recreating all 10 of these looks. So without further ado, let's get started. So number one, the first look I decided to show you guys was this. A simple, loose curl, completely down style. Whether you have really short hair, really long hair, this style is perfect for one shoulder dresses, strapless, two straps, completely long sleeve. I think this look looks really good. This hair look looks really good on all different style dresses or if you're not wearing a dress, if you're wearing maybe a, a suit or whatever you're wearing, I think that this goes perfect with it. You can part it in the middle, you can part it on the side, the other side. Sorry if you guys are yelling, I don't know why these children are screaming. But yes, this is number one and it's just down curls. Moving on to number two. For number two, we're going to keep the hair down completely. We're just taking a tiny, tiny pinch of hair out of your bangs. You could do a little bit more, a little bit less. I wouldn't do too much because you don't want them to look like dragon antennas or just any antennas hanging. <laughs> and then you're gonna take a little inch of your hair right here on this side, probably like an inch into your part. And downward and twisting backward away from, away from that side. So toward the back wall, you're gonna twist these pieces Take a bobby pin and pin it back here. Just like that. And then obviously mash it on the other side. This is a super kind of boho chic look. Very casual, but you can dress it up. And if you want, you can even go in and sort of poof out some of these pieces. And there you have it, look number two. Okay, you guys, for look number three, we're gonna flip all of the hair to one side. So I flip it completely over. You guys can add a little bit of teasing and some hairspray in this. For the sake of this video, since I'm doing so many different hairstyles, I'm not gonna hairspray just one style because it's gonna be harder to brush through, but you're gonna go behind your head. You're gonna go behind your head and taking the piece that's on the bottom, like a tiny little piece of it, I'm gonna bobby pin it underneath. and then pull all the upper hair over it. Just pull it a little bit out so it's loosened. And that way it's super effortless and loose, but it is secured to one side. And I would just leave this completely out. Look number three. Moving on to look number four. We're actually gonna keep all of the hair over here, except for we're gonna put a tiny, tiny bit back on the other side. We're gonna bring the rest of it completely to one side again and we're creating a very loose braid. Once you reach the very bottom, go ahead and secure it with a clear tie. Oh my gosh, I shed so much. So I pull the tie down a little bit, and then from the very bottom I start and I loosen up the pieces. I just kind of pull the side pieces apart. I'm just gonna wanna pull them kind of upward and outward. And just keep widening the braid basically. So it's super like flower petal y. <laughs> flower petal -y. You're gonna take the braid and turn it over. So it just sits there and it pulls the hair away from your face. Ah. So yeah. There is your whimsical braid, and that is number four. Number five, we're gonna keep this exact braid in our hair, but the thing that we're gonna do to spice it up is by adding these little gems. I don't know if everyone's into these gems, but I used to love them when I used to get updos and stuff in high school. Take these little gems, flowers or stones or whatever, and just kind of place them throughout the braid in places that they look really cute. You just twist these in. I know that they sell these at like icing, Sally's, 
Um, I think they even sell them at like Walmart. You just twist them into your brain. Super sporadic and just, it makes it kind of have something a little bit extra. This look is number five. Moving on to number six, we are going to do a side pony, but we're going to, I don't know if this is the right word, but I was gonna call it inverted. You're just taking a ponytail and you're putting a little elastic on it. And then I split it in the middle. So I'm gonna be wrapping the hair inward through the split in my hair, but going basically into my head. I grasp the ponytail and I pull it through. I soften it up. So here's another look. If you guys want, you, you can take a little piece of hair and wrap it around to cover the elastic, but this, this is totally optional. Number six. All right guys, now moving on to number seven. It's gonna be a half up, half down kind of ponytail with a piece wrapped around it. So you're gonna take a little portion of your hair. I go from right above my ears, leaving out a little bit of these wispy pieces. So just right above my ears, and I just drag upward, and holding both sides really tight, I'm gonna pull it tight. <gasps> what the heck? And then I'm gonna take from the very back of my head, as you guys can see, I'm taking a tiny little piece of hair from right underneath because this part I'm wrapping around. So I'm just wrapping this hair around a couple times and then taking a bobby pin, I'm just gonna pin it to the back of my scalp. Right to the back of my scalp and then flip the hair over and do a little bit of more tightening kind of tighten on these pieces to get it right where I want it. So that is your cute half a pack down with a twisted ponytail piece of hair, and that is number seven. All right, and now moving on to number eight. For number eight, we're gonna take two little pieces out again. And I'm keeping my hair parted in the middle because I like that look lately. And I'm just gonna flip my hair back, and I'm gonna take two other little pieces around my temple area out and then another piece around my sideburn area. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm just gonna take the rest of my hair, kind of pull it back. I'm sectioning off about this much of my hair. I'm gonna let it kind of droop and relax. And I'm gonna take one of these little clips as you guys can see, that looks beautiful from the back. And I'm just gonna pull on it a little bit so it's kind of more relaxed. And then I'm just gonna pull on these pieces right here to loosen it because I don't want it to be too tight or anything. I want it to be very soft and whimsical. That's like my theme for this video, I don't know why. Side view. That's number eight. Now moving on to number nine. We're gonna flip the head over and put all of this up. Gonna pull on it just a little bit to tighten it and then flip it forward immediately. And I'm gonna put it in a braid. So you're just gonna start like this, wrapping it. So I'm just wrapping the braid around itself and creating a bun. And I'm gonna take a bobby pin, secure it. And if it looks weird or lopsided, then just kind of like fix it. Sorry, <laughs> my hair is too tall for this feet. This is for those girls who do not want to deal with their hair at all, all night. Or maybe you have that beautiful bone structure or jaw structure. You can take some pieces down and kind of leave it a little bit wispy if you want. Or you can just have it all up and slick back like a ballerina and not deal with it all night long. But still have that cool sort of chic, pretty elegant you know, form to it since it's a braid. So this, like I said, is number nine. And last but not least, as I'm undoing this braid, is my favorite of all, well, one of my favorites. And so this is number 10, guys. I pull some pieces down, and it's in a high ponytail, as you can see. 
and I take a little piece from underneath, just like I was doing earlier, to wrap around and hide this thick hair tie. It's wrapping the piece around itself. Grabbing a bobby pin. Fix your little wispies. That is it. This is kind of my go-to look whenever my hair is acting up or if I haven't washed it in like a few days or something. But yeah, this is number 10 and this is the cute pony. So that is all 10 looks. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you learned something new or think you're gonna try something out for one of your events, let me know. Comment below if you guys want your favorite look. I'm very curious to know what you guys thought was the cutest one or the best or the easiest to do. And one that you might pick as your go-to style. Like I said, this was mine. So let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. God bless. Sit. He's like, Mom, I am sitting. Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Hey. Give me a kiss. Why are you growling? Mm -hmm. We out.